Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Um, I got my little softball player over here. You always think when I wear this. You look like, like Bad News Bears. <laughs> it does. It's very fitting. Um, <sighs> oh, we're kind of uh, congested a little bit. A little bit. bit. I think these allergies are... Uh, They're popping. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you guys know, things have been happening. That's one of those, you know. Mm -hmm. No, that's a different. That's a you look at me like, you stupid. I don't think that's a you stupid. That's like a, wait. Uh, I don't know. Um, but, uh, so, you guys know we've been dealing with the stuff out here, trying to figure stuff out, making phone calls, all of this stuff. Um, well, we also, at the house in town, had problems, so, mm. um, old karma sure is, with the safe, <laughs> sure is ling lingering around here, um, the shower was leaking for a minute, um, yeah, it's been a while, I haven't been to the house in town in a long time, uh, that and then the fence, when you get, in yeah. the backyard when a big storm kind of comes through, it tries to blow over. Yeah. The whole, Realistically, the whole fence needs to be redone. Um, and but. if we were going to be living there full time, I'd gladly do it. Yeah. Um, but uh, right now, since most of y'all know, the end goal is to sell the house, build bar dominium out here. Um, in, the, in the meantime, we're just doing what we can with it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so, so we ran into town. Yeah, it's hard to have all this to keep up with, but there yeah. still is a house. <sighs> Homeowners, to, man. <laughs> to keep up with. Yeah. Yep. I think people forget we are homeowners, actually. Yeah, so went in right. town yesterday for a smidge, um, and, uh, fixed the shower and stuff and fixed the fence and... You know that, and came back out. Um, One thing, though, about doing a project in town. So they're a lot smaller. <laughs> well, it's like, oh, because you went to Lowe's to get one thing. Yes. That didn't work. And then went to Lowe's to get something else. Came back, and I was like, isn't it nice? When Lowe's is down the street. It's literally just um, right there. Yeah. And so. it doesn't take your whole day going to Lowe's. <laughs> yeah. So, there's definitely pros and cons, that's for sure. Um, yeah. But that was the first time I think I left Bristow. In a long time. Long time. Um, and uh, it felt almost like a vacation, as weird as it sounds. Yeah. Um, it was a little bit of an escape from the reality of stuff going on out here and stuff that's gone on out here and and working and it was just it was weird to get away and drive that far um for me i mean you're used to it at this point going back and forth yeah um but uh, it was weird being at the house like with you yeah like doing like a little project there yeah normally it's the other dude but this time <laughs> i was there um, it's just, I don't know. That's the running joke um, of this little There's a store. There's a little store down the street, and anytime we go in. Um, well, because I went in by myself. The first time. The first time, and I was, you know, and there's always just like old dudes in there. And uh, they're listening to me talk to the lady that owns it, and uh, I was like, yeah. I got this good looking fiance. I'll bring him in one of these days. <clears throat> and um, then we went in. And what do you say? He said, uh, This, is this ain't the same one as last time or something. Or no, like that. he's like, This isn't the good looking dude you're talking about or something. Mm, something like that. that. And then now each time it's like, This isn't the same yeah, guy. Yeah, this ain't the same guy. Um, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, uh, it, you know. We did that or whatever, came back, and um, at this point, we still 
I don't know if the goats had babies overnight. I don't know. Um, we have talked to the uh, officer again, um, the oil field officer. We've talked to him. Uh, we, for whatever reason, have not heard back from power, yeah. the electric. Uh, and we so have to call the, we are calling the engineer himself. We might just have to call yeah, the company. company. Um, he but, might be out or... Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't heard back from that. Uh, we've been trying to still figure out what to do. Uh, I went and read through as many of y'all's comments possibly could and uh, I mean there was anything you can think of uh, all sorts of advice uh, some you know definitely we're gonna take some we've thought about and some you know we're trying to fix our karma you know um, but uh, I don't know it's it's a strange situation um, it's, again, whenever you're just, you have a plan for a year, and then all of a sudden it switches, and then, um, we actually walked through the woods to see, you know, we told you guys, do a driveway, we kind of walked through, and then we start looking, and we're like, is this possible, we gotta jump a creek, we gotta, you know, it's not as, like, the high ground, it's not on the high ground of it, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of different things, um, so, I don't know, it's, uh, it's a strange time, I guess, um, it's interesting times, it's, thank God, it happened before we were already moved into the tiny house, already spent even more money on a driveway and gate entrance yeah. and and ran all our pipe for our water well and you know what I mean just yeah, all I'm, of that I'm very glad we at least didn't do the entrance that's a really the big thing too you don't want two entrance <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh so yeah and you have these brand new entrance fancy entrance that's gonna be expensive as well yeah so, Everything we do out here, because um, we start with nothing, mm -hmm. is very expensive. Uh, building but a big entrance, you're talking thousands. It's just like all an investment, though. Yeah. Equity. In, <laughs> equity. in the land. Uh, but yeah, because it is, I mean, again, we got this from nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's straight raw. Um, but, you know, you build an entrance... That's thousands of dollars. You build a new driveway, put it in, having to get someone to mulch trees or bulldoze or whatever, and then drop rock and all of that, that's mm -hmm. thousands. Building a house, that's thousands. Building a barn, that's thousands. Building a fence, that's thousands. Um, yeah, there's no little project here. No, and, we, <laughs> and, we're not, and we're not millionaires, you know? Um, think... Thank God again, we're in the position we're in where we can afford to do some of these things little by little. But at the same time, if we would have, this is where I, again, thank God, I guess I'm going to put this on me. My brain is the way it is, and I haven't gone and cleared the neighbor's 50 acres that way, fence line to run electric. Thank God I didn't clear all of our trees out of the driveway over here. Mm -hmm. Thank God we didn't already finish the tiny house and have it, you know, whatever like this. You guys, <laughs> you guys understand in here, but the fact but that we did. I think that's good karma. It is. You talk about, you try to, like, people are trying to spend karma. That's karma. You shouldn't have done it this. Is, it is good karma. Yeah, um, if we would have done all that stuff, we would have been out a lot of money. And, um, a lot in time. What's the actual definition of karma? Do you know? Um, it's like what you put out comes back. It doesn't always have to be bad karma. Um, but everyone associates karma with bad. See, that's, and, that's like... Yeah. Like um, yeah, so... 
Um, and then one person said, this karma, but spelt it with the C. I said, karma with the K. D dong <laughs> head. And then they wrote back, said, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, something about typos happen, but you shouldn't, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, thanks for the laugh. Um, I don't know. There ain't nothing anybody can say in a comment to uh, upset us at this point. It's all entertaining. I mean, we know. We know. But we know that we have karma. <laughs> we, we know. I guess who we are. I guess I could say that. Yeah, and I don't really care yeah. um, what someone on the internet says, but I do care what you guys say that actually care, but mm -hmm. someone that doesn't care, I don't care. Um, but, uh, it is very strange, and you guys know, and, and I just hope through everything, all our videos, everything we say, and all of this stuff, we're showing you that we practice what we preach, and mm. we do think everything happens for a reason. Yeah. We do think if you want something bad enough, you'll make it happen. We do think that if you try to stay positive... Whatever the outcome is, if we have to leave here, if we stay here, if we have to get power, we don't get power. Mm -hmm. We just, I hope it just shows if you are positive and you stay in the right mindset rather than just getting mad, getting angry, you know, whatever. Uh, bounce ideas. If, if you're single by yourself, write down pros and cons and bounce ideas back and forth. If you're with someone uh, or even, even your family, if you have kids and stuff. Ask them. Mm -hmm. Clearly, the adults make the decision. Not in every household, but um, in, a, in a normal household, parents are supposed to make the decision. But um, do that and, and make a pros and cons list and, and bounce ideas off and pick the best thing. And try to always think of something positive because every day there is a massive chance that something bad will happen to you. There will be a chance your bank account will get hacked. There will be a chance that something happens on your car. There will be a chance that you may lose your job. There may be a chance that, you know, whatever. If You, you have to look at the positive spin of it. And, uh... uh yeah. I truly feel like things happen for a reason, too. Yes. You just kind of have a feeling. And yeah. I don't know if it's thinking that way or just staying positive. Like, I feel good. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I hope that anyone out there that watches is going through something, and maybe it's just not on the up and up. It may be your attitude. Um, I'm not, I don't know your situation, but I do know things get better a lot faster when you're, when you're thinking straight, you have a good positive attitude, you can actually start you know, figuring things out, and, um... Again, whenever you have a negative attitude or mindset, you just don't see things right. No. It, it's crazy how much it blocks... You start seeing only the negative. Only... Yeah. You, you turn... Everything into a negative. Into a negative, even if it's not. Yeah. And, uh... It's... I don't know. It's, it's been very... Huh? It's not a way to be. You can be... No. It. You can handle things. Up. Yeah. I don't know, just being positive. It, it's definitely um, a life-changing thing for me. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys have watched for a long time. You know, I, I definitely feel like a different person that I've been in the past. And a lot of it is mindset and how you handle things and, and the way your outlook on life. And a lot of people think that I'm just like fake and just saying these things and whatever. But... I truly feel it. I I know in my own heart and mind how I feel and, and stuff. And I would hope people would... I, I would want people to feel like I do now than how I used to. And that's why I say the things I do. Whether people think I'm lying about it. Whether people think, you know, for whatever reason. Um, if I can at least give my experience out there, even if it just helps one person then cool, you know. Uh, I'm not out to change the world or nothing, but uh, I changed your world. I may not be able to change the world for you, but you changed the world for me. That's right. 
we're gonna have to get off and make some babies. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Should have a Crocker video coming out later. Uh, it'll explain a lot more of what's kind of going on, things that have happened in since the last video. Um, we didn't. We were posting daily vlogs. We kind of didn't post yesterday because we had a lot to think about, a lot to do, and. Um, I don't know. We're trying to keep y'all updated as much as possible with all of this. And uh, at the end of the day, just try to stay positive with no with anything you're going through, no matter what it is. Uh, try to enjoy life the, the most you can, even if it seems like there's nothing enjoyable about it. Um, yeah. You know, there is always something. You can always come up with the pros and cons list, the good and the bad. And I guarantee you, at the end of the day, you will always find more good, if you're looking for it, than you will bad. And so, uh, sometimes... You're going to find what you're looking for. If you're looking yeah. for negative, bad, that's what you're going to find. You'll find it. If you're looking for good, you'll find it. You'll find it, so, so... why not just look for the good? Yeah, and, uh, let the good outweigh the bad and let it figure out how to counterbalance that bad, and it'll truly get better. But we're going to get our day started. I don't know if we have any new goats at this point. I don't even know if they'll ever have babies at this point. Listen, Danielle I... Danielle is very upset. <laughs> it has been. So, Monday was a week since old little boy was born. Yeah. Since they first started popping. So what we think what happened was... I think... He went after his lovers at the beginning. Yeah, I think he Over really, and over. Really liked your Tina. And then the one, I think it was... Little Oreo. That was the last one. Um, and then... I don't know their names. Yeah, some of them don't really have names. Yeah. But, yeah, likes those three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. So... But it's wild. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was trying not... I'm trying not to pressure them. I'm giving them a little bit more space. I don't, I'm making her. <laughs> I just go over and stare at him like, come on, ladies. I want to see some more baby goats. It's like trying to poop. If you're staring at me, I can't do it. So I'm trying to give him some space. But the um, the baby goats are doing really good. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, that, the last twin girls that were born, the girl... The first They're both one that girls. came out, but the first one that came out is massive. Yeah. I just look at her, Mike. She does. She looks like a Clydesdale. <laughs> she big. She thick. She. She thick. got some big legs. Yeah. Some like thick all the way up legs. Yeah, her like, head, her neck's thick. She's, she's just big. She's big. I'm like, dang. Yeah, she be stout. It's just funny looking at her compared to her sister. Yeah. I don't know. They're they're all cute. They're all doing one's really a lumberjack, good. one's a crackhead. Yeah. That's the only way <laughs> to describe what it. it. Looks like. That's the only way to describe it. <laughs> yeah. So. But they're all doing really good, and yeah, they're all just so stinking cute. Yeah. And um, you got to give it to Jared. He definitely. He, he picked out some good goats to breed. He did really well um, doing this. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We. Uh, have some cute babies and hopefully more. Um, again, I'm trying. at this point right now, we don't know if they popped overnight or late evening yesterday. Last time we looked, there was nothing. So I can't believe it. Um, one of them, the big, big, big one. Big mama. Um, Kaylee, Callie, some, I don't know her name. But mm -hmm. I think she's going to have at least triplets. That's at my least. guess. At least. Big. I think maybe quads. 